To bring this project to life, we need to let the user select a photo from their library, then display it in Content View. I've already shown you how this all works, so now it's just a matter of putting it into our app. Hopefully it'll make a little more sense this time. Start by making a new Swift file called imagepicker.swift. Replace its foundation import with Swift UI. Then give it this basic struct. Struct image picker conforms to UI view controller representable. At environment, presentation mode, var presentation mode. At binding, var image, optional UI image. Func, make UI view controller. Context, UI view controller, representable, context, image picker. Returns a UI image picker controller. Let picker equals UI image picker controller, return picker. And func update UI view controller, underscore UI view controller, UI image picker controller, context, UI view controller, representable, context, image picker. And again, we'll leave that empty. If you recall, using UI view controller representable means that image picker is already a Swift UI view that we can place inside our view hierarchy. In this instance, we're wrapping UIKit's UI image picker controller, which lets the user select something from their photo library. When that image picker struct is created, Swift UI will automatically call its make UI view controller method, which is what goes on to create and send back a UI picker controller. However, our code doesn't actually respond to any events inside the image picker. The user can search for an image and select it to dismiss the view, but we don't then do anything with it. Rather than making us create a subclass of UI image picker controller, UIKit instead has a system of delegation. We create a custom class that will be told when something interesting happened. Each delegate class will usually need to conform to one or more protocols, and in our case, that means UI navigation controller delegate and UI image picker controller delegate. The delegates work much like real life delegates. If you delegate work to someone else, it means you're giving it to them to complete. SwiftUI handles these delegate classes by letting us define a coordinator that belongs to the struct. This class can do anything we need, including acting as a delegate for UIKit components. And we can then pass any relevant information back up to the image picker that owns it. Start by adding this as a nested class inside image picker. Class coordinator, inherits menace object, conforms to UI navigation controller delegate, and UI image picker controller delegate. We'll add a property, let parent image picker, and initializer, init, underscore parent image picker, self.parent equals parent. You can see that conforms to the two protocols we need to use for working with UIKit's image picker and also inherits from NSObject, which is a base class for most types that come from UIKit. Because our coordinator class conforms to the UI image picker controller delegate protocol, we can make it the delegate of the UIKit image picker by modifying make UI view controller to this. picker.delegate equals context.coordinator. We need to make two more changes to image picker to make it useful. The first is to add a make coordinator method that tells SwiftUI to use the coordinator class for the image picker coordinator. From our perspective, this is obvious because we created a class called coordinator that was inside the image picker struct. But this make coordinator method lets us control how the coordinator is made. If you recall, we gave the coordinator class a single property, let parent image picker. This means we have to create it with a reference to the image picker that owns it so the coordinator can forward on interesting events. So, inside our make coordinator method, we'll create a coordinator object and pass in self. Add this method to the image picker struct now. Func make coordinator, returns coordinator, coordinator self. The final step for image picker is to give the coordinator some sort of functionality. The UI image picker controller class looks at two methods, but here we're only going to use one did finish picking media with info. This will be called when the user has selected an image, and it will be given a dictionary of information about the selected image. To make image picker useful, we have to implement that method inside coordinator. Make it set the image property of its parent image picker, then dismiss the view. UIKit's method name is long and complex, so it's best written using co-completion. Make some space inside the coordinator class and type did finish picking 
Then press return to have Xcode fill in the whole method for you. Now modify it to have this code. If let UI image equals info dot original image as question mark UI image parent dot image equals UI image and then parent dot presentation mode dot wrap value dot dismiss. That completes image picker dot Swift. So please head back to content view dot Swift so we can make use of it. First, we need an at state boolean to track whether our image picker is being shown or not. So start by adding this to content view. At state, private var, showing image picker equals false. Second, we need to set that boolean to true when the big gray rectangle is tapped. So replace the select an image comment with this. Self dot showing image picker equals true. Third, we need a property that will store the image the user selected. We gave the image picker struct an at binding property attached to a UI image, which means when we create the image picker, we have to pass in a UI image for it to link to. When the at binding property changes, the external value changes as well, which will let us read the value. So add this property to content view. At state, private var, input image, optional UI image. Fourth, we need a method that will be called when the image picker view has been dismissed. For now, this will just place a selected image directly into the UI. So please add this method to content view now. Funk load image guard let input image equals input image else return. Image equals image UI image input image. And finally, we need to add a sheet modifier somewhere in content view. This will use showing image picker as its condition. We'll reference load image as its on dismiss parameter and present an image picker bound to input image as its contents. So add this directly below the existing navigation bar title modifier. Dot sheet is presented dollar showing image picker on dismiss load image. Image picker image self dot dollar input image. That completes all the steps required to wrap a UI kit view controller for use inside Swift UI. We went over it a little faster this time, but hopefully it still all made sense. Go ahead and run the app now, and you should be able to tap the gray rectangle to import a picture. And when you've found one, it'll appear inside our UI. Now before I finish, I want to add that the image picker view we made here is completely reusable. You can put that Swift file to one side and use it on other projects easily. If you think about it, all the complexity of wrapping the view is contained inside imagepicker.swift which means if you do choose to use it elsewhere, it's just a matter of showing a sheet and binding an image.